Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial So in this video we'll be learning to make this loading progress bar animation in a very simple way So the first thing is to create a new composition I'll name this progress bar 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine I'll set the duration to around 5 seconds and I'll click okay so now we'll first create some background i'll click on layer new solid and i'll name this solid background i'll choose some blue color i'll hit okay so now we'll be adding a shape layer so that it acts as some progress bar so i'll click on this pen tool here make sure nothing is selected and now i'll click here and tap it here so that a line is created make sure that the fill is set to none and increase the stroke value to around 80 or you know something closer to 100 okay and now i'll expand the shape layer and add a property called trim paths so now i'll expand the trim paths i'll go around one second forward and I'll click on this timer button here for end I'll set the value to 0 and I'll move to around 4 seconds and increase the end value to 100 so now if I start playing the video you can see that the progress bar will start animating and it would go to 100% at 4th second I'll select both these keyframes, I'll right click and from keyframe assistant I'll set this to easy ease and I'll click on the graph editor and right click here and ensure that edit speed graph is checked and I'll click on one of the end and pull it towards the left so that the graph looks something like this. Alright, this looks fine. So now I'll be adding a you know a box around this so that it looks like a nice loading bar so now i'll click on this rectangle tool and set the stroke value to around 10 and create a stroke around this if you want to have it something like this even this would look good perfect so now we'll be adding a you know a number here so that it represents the percentage of loading that has happened to do that i'll click on this t button here so that i enable the type tool i'll create some text here i'll set the font to arial bold and now i'll go to the fx and presets panel and type in slider control so I have this slider control effect in the expression controls and i'll drag this onto my text layer now i'll expand the text layer i'll expand the text as well and you have source text here and i'll also expand the fx where you have the slider control and you can see that we have a slider option here so i'll click on this parenting tool this mapping button here this pick whip and I'll drag this onto my slider just like this so now go to the first second here click on timer button here for slider and then go to fourth second just like the way we did earlier and change the slider value to 100 do the same way just like the way you did to the progress bar just change this to easy ease and open the graph editor and ensure that you have edit speed graph selected change the graph to something like this just like the way we did earlier and now if i start playing this you can see that this is how the progress bar looks like but you can see that we have 96.7 a decimal part also generated to fix that this is what you can do you can use a function called math.round I'll attach in the description just copy paste this I'll hold alt on my keyboard and click on this timer button here for source text 
so that an expression editor opens up and I'll simply paste this. You can see that we have a rounding function added to the slider control effect to the slider parameter and we also have a percentage symbol this is a string so if i start playing the video you can see that this is how the loading happens as the progress bar moves from 0 to 100 percent i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfxguyravi See you guys next time with another tutorial.